everyone welcome back and this is Naveen from UI Brains. So in this video we'll see uh, the same file system module to write some content to the JSON file. It means we have to create a new JSON file with the file uh, with the R program using the FS module. So before we start with that I am going to comment out this entire thing. Okay so let's do something over here. So JSON files. Okay. So I wanted to write some data and I want to create a new file called JSON. Okay. So to create some data, we need to have uh, we need to have an array. So to get the array, I need to write a lot of uh, code. Instead, let me download some data from Google. So to get some mockup data, you can just go to uh, a website called Mockaru. So uh, this is a random data generator API mocking tool so to mock up some data so let me just go there here you can select a number of fields so I need uh, first name last name email gender IP address so these fields I wanted so uh, once you have finalized the fields so you can select the what the field uh, you wanted you have location commerce personal you have a lot of uh, you know options to select so that that uh, type of data is going to display out there okay so i need uh, yes perfect this data only uh, no no changes and i just need some 10 records let's make 10 and what format is json format and no null values uh, uncheck array and then download okay so i got uh, data.json let me open this i got the json file so let me open that so this is your data got from the website so let me copy this okay and uh, i'll just say let employees is equal to passage okay fine so employees i have an array of 10 records 10 employee objects okay so these data i wanted to write to a json file using asynchronous way so what you do is fs dot write file and what is the file name you want to add so i want to add employees dot json comma and what is your file content i my call my file content is employees and uh, utf h and one callback and this callback will have two parameters one is error and data so if any error just throw the error and then uh, do a console dot log of data um write file oh sorry for write file we don't have data only one parameter right so let's say data is written to the file data is written to the file okay done um okay so that's it and let's run the program back here uh, node space app.js enter so you got the message uh, data written to the file so back to here see you got employees.json but when you open that huh, great so you just get only this object object like this but we can't see or visualize the actual data like this okay so how this happen is I tell you whenever let me go to the notepad see here when you are talking with uh, a normal text file you can write a normal string uh, kind of data but when you talk about JSON when you want to write something to a JSON you cannot add directly the object okay so the whole array as it is you can't store in the JSON you have to convert this array or object to the uh, string format and then you have to store to the json file so how to convert an object or array to a string format so object to string format how to convert is the regular javascript function built in json dot stringify okay so this is the function to create a string format of the object okay so if you are writing some object to the json file you must have to convert the object to string and then store it and reverse it. if you want to read data from the json file if you want to read is already string is stored so you're gonna get the string 
but this string you want to convert back to the object to read the actual find content you must have to convert that back to the object so how to convert the json string back to object is json dot parse json dot parse function okay so we have to use these two functions so back to our application uh, i don't want this json file let me uh, delete this okay do refactor gone okay no employee dot json so what is my plan here is see the employees array as it is you must not store it you have to convert to string so simply delete this in this parameter json dot stringify of employees okay so let's make json dot stringify of employees and uh, yep that's it so let's check now and we don't have employees dot json so this has to create so save it go back here and just say uh, aparo file return to the file i mean data return to file back here and json yes you can see now the actual data here perfect fine and i want to read that file content okay so how to read the file uh, not simple file json file okay so fs dot uh, read file fs dot read file here i want to get a file name so that is employee is dot json comma uh, reading means what you have uh, you have a default encoding that is utfh and also one callback so this will have two parameters see read file two parameters write file single parameter is error so first parameter is error and second parameter is data so if any error just throw the error and then uh, data so let me do console.log of data so what is the data is there in the employee.json i am printing in the console log so let's save it back to console uh, sorry back to command prompt so up arrow enter you got the data the file content data but the problem is this data is in a string format because you know we have converted the data to string and stored okay so while fetching also you get a string only but i don't want the string like this because i can't be able to read this actual data like first name email we can't be able to read so you must have to convert this to an object so how to convert this to an object is json dot parse so what i do is as a next let employees is equal to json dot parse i have to give a data here and then let me substitute the employees here done so employees uh, will be having the actual data so now let's go back to the command prompt cls uh, cls for is for clear the window and uh, node space add.js enter see now you get a proper object by seeing this colorful information you understand this is a proper array of objects okay so now we can read uh, object dot first name last name email and all okay so always remember you are writing to the json file you must have to convert to string and while reading from json file you have to convert back to an object okay so this is about the file system module and uh, one more thing i have to tell you is see here uh, in this folder you have all the files in a same location correct you have all the files in a uh, near to i mean just near to the in the same folder of app.js and all the files but in real time application you will be having the files in different different folders okay so you have to read a file from one folder and you need to write the data to some other folder of some other folder okay so how to give a perfect path for those type of folders is you need to use the path module so let's have a look how to use the path module uh, in node.js in the next video thank you so much for watching and we'll meet in the next video thank you